Good afternoon, everyone. If you do want to ask a question, please raise your hand. I haven't got any hands raised as yet. I can't see you. Do you want to raise your hand on the actual screen as well? Okay, we're going to start with Aidan. I can see him. Aidan. You can unmute. Thank you. Yeah, you can hear me all right? Yep. Uh, Jose, frustrating afternoon for you. What are your reflections on what you saw? I didn't like my team. I didn't like that so many referees on the pitch, on the touchline, and uh, in front of the screen, allow a, a free kick to be taken five or six meters in front, which creates a totally different angle of cross and a totally different angle to across to, to attack the ball and to, to put the defensive uh, zone line. Uh, I can complain now because I was complaining after the goal, uh, before the goal. Uh, I was complaining already with the referees before, before the goal. Um, but I didn't like my team. Um, believe until their goal, the game was there. Until their goal, in spite of they had good control of, of the ball, they didn't create a part of one bad pass by Ben Davis that almost gave a chance to, I think, Richardson. In the first half, we were the team that created the two best chances and two really beautiful uh, situations with uh, Kane, Doherty and Son uh, Dele Alli. In the second half after their goal, we were poor. We were not, in my opinion, physically strong. No intensity. The team looks in this moment uh, in many players' physical condition. And... Uh, of course, if from that goal, they were more dangerous. They had a couple of very good chances coming from, from the left and attacking the, the spaces inside. And um, they were closer to score uh, the second goal than we were to score the equalizer. Jose, it's one thing being disappointed with the officials on that goal, but you must be disappointed with the defending as well, because if Eric Dyer wants to be a central defender, he surely has to attack that ball better and win that ball against Calvert-Lewin. I agree in, in the point of it's not just the position of, of, the, of the cross, it's about my team. I'm not going in Eric Dyer's direction, first of all, because I didn't watch it on, on the screen and, of course, I was very far. Um, I can say, obviously, that we, we should be, and I believe we were, organized in our, in our zonal position with an individual control on Mina which is obviously the most difficult player, but we knew, they knew, uh, the players knew. We analyze um, that they are very strong, not just on the quality of the service, but also in the power of the players to, to attack that cross. So, yes, we should do better. Okay, I'll take it from James from the Times. James, if you can unmute, please. Yeah. It shows, like, can, can I just ask you, um, do you still feel that you need uh, another? Do you feel that you need another striker to provide competition and, and back up to Harry Kane? And in particular, is is there an interest in uh, Alexander Sorloff? Because the president of Trabzonspor says that um, they have been meeting with Tottenham to discuss that player. Well, I'm not going to discuss uh, Sorloff. He's the president of. Uh Trap zones for told that and nobody to to say that is not true. But I think uh, Sorlot is a Trap zone source player and it's not for me to speak about him. Do we need a striker? Yes, we need. But was because of that that we lost the game? No, we didn't lose the game because we need a striker. No, we lost the game and the responsibility of of, of that defeat. It's my responsibility and responsibility of the players. Go take the question, John Cross. Cross, see if you can unmute. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Jose. Jose, you you, you mentioned there uh, about the uh, physical condition, lack of physical condition, and, and no intensity. I mean, it, it, why why? I know it's an obvious question, but why is that? I mean, is it the pre-season? Is it is it the lack of players? Um, oh, uh, intensity. Hurricane trained with us once. Once, one day, training with us one day. Um, Moses Soko, a couple. 
and are not going player by player, but for different reasons, many of our players, they didn't have a proper pre-season. We had, um, we had cases of positive, uh, positive COVID. Uh, of course, we have the right of not to say which players were, but we had players with positive COVID. We had other players with quarantine due to proximity with the positive uh, players. We had uh, a player in, in quarantine because he was on holiday in a country uh, that uh, England demands uh, quarantine. We had national team, a couple of weeks where the players, many of them, uh, they went to, to national teams. So the pre-season was a difficult pre-season for many of the for many of the players and uh, I couldn't expect them to be sharp, intense, uh, agile. I couldn't expect that, but I was expecting much more individually and I was expecting much more collectively. And how much, and how much does that That's disappoint you? Sorry, how much does that disappoint you, Jojo, that you couldn't have got more from them individually? Disappointment, disappoint, disappoint me, I'm sorry. And that is where I have now to where I have now to work. Uh, again, I can complain about the free kick being taken uh, five or six meters in, out of place, but I cannot work that. I, I cannot coach referees. Uh, I can, as you, one of you told in one of the first questions, I can coach, I can train my players to deal with, uh, with these crosses. It doesn't matter the position where, uh, where um, it is. The players that didn't have pre-season, we don't have now the possibility to give them a pre-season. But we have lots of matches to play consecutively and we have to use these matches not just to try to win them uh, and the knockout ones are obviously decisive matches with everything decided in 120 minutes or even penalties and try to use this to improve the form of, uh, of some players because some of them they were really in trouble you can for example look to to, to Doherty uh, a player with normally an incredible condition. He didn't have pre-season. He went direct from holidays to national team matches. Direct, no pre-season no, at all, not one single training session. He went direct from holidays to national team. He played two consecutive matches and today uh, he was not matured like he normally is. So these are the things that we knew that uh, could happen to us. Okay, I'm going to finish with Jonathan Ville and Matt Dunn. One question each, please. Jonathan will go first. Hi there, Jose. Uh, Deli Ali came off at half time. I was wondering whether he was injured or whether that's a tactical switch you made. Yeah, yeah. They were playing only with one one player in front of the defenders. Uh, Gomez and uh, Ducure was pressing, were pressing higher on wings and uh, and Oibierg. Lots of space. Very, very easy to play around Allen in this area there. And um, I thought we needed more uh, more creation there. Uh, Lucas was one of the players that, in in my opinion, was physically better because was one of the guys that had a very good uh, preseason. Was one that was showing me capable to to create, capable to win duels in there. And um, we decided to to change um, to change Lucas for that position. Okay, we're going to go last question with Matt down, Matt. Uh, hi, Jose. Um, yeah, uh, you said right at the start that you didn't like your team today. Um, we've all watched the Amazon documentary series, and the message in, in episode one was the same as the message in episode nine about them being good guys and not nasty enough. Is there a new message this season, or is it still not getting through, or can you tell them anything different, or are you just going to go and say the same things to them again? Nothing to do with that. Uh, nothing to do with that at all. Uh, I think today that was not uh, that was not the point. I'm happy, of course, that uh, Amazon historians now we can work in our intimacy and working in our intimacy is a privilege that we didn't have for the whole season and we have now. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, guys.